Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. I'm so excited to see you guys on this wonderful Sunday. We're going to do some worship together. We're going to do two songs. The first song we're going to do is called King of My Heart. This song is awesome. No hand motions to this one and no hand motions to the other one either. No hand motions this week. We're just going to worship to the Lord together. So let's start. King of My Heart. We're just going to worship together. All right, here we go. King of my heart be the fountain where I run, the fountain I drink from, oh, he is my song. Let the King of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life, oh, he is my song. You are good. That song is so good. That song, King of My Heart, is amazing. And it has that little part at the end where it just sings, God is so good. God is so good to me. 
Um, I used to sing that when I was a little kid all the time. When I was y'all's age, even younger than y'all, I used to sing that all the time. God is so good. And guys, that's true. God is so good. He's so good. He's so good to me, and he's so good to you. Man, that's a great time. That is a good time. All right, the next song we're going to sing is called Come Thou Fount. This song, this this is one of my... This is one of my favorites. This is uh, this this one holds a very special place in my heart. I love this one a lot. Um, this one uh, does not have any hand motions to it. We're just gonna sing praises to the Lord. But this the lyrics in this one are just gorgeous. So we're just gonna worship together. Here we go. such a good one i love that song that's just that whole song is just beautiful and that one holds a special place place in my heart oh to grace how great a debtor daily i'm constrained to thee let thy goodness like a fetter bind my wandering heart to thee prone to wander that's probably my favorite part at the end prone to wander one of my favorites lord i feel it prone to leave the god i love here's my heart lord Take and seal it, seal it for by my courts above, thy courts above. Giving your heart to the Lord. Actually, my favorite part is here I raise my Ebenezer. I love that. And Ebenezer is like a little monument that the ancient Israelites would make as like a remembrance. They would build an Ebenezer to remember something amazing that God has done. And I love this song just because it reminds us about how great God truly is. Man, that's a good one. Thank you guys for singing with me this morning. I love that song, and I love singing with you guys. Y'all are just, I, I just love, I know that we're doing this over a computer, but I love y'all's company. I know y'all are there watching, and I know that we're doing this together. This is so much fun. Um, but guys, yeah, thank you guys for worshiping with, bleh, worshiping with me. I love y'all a lot, but now we're going to open our ears up real big. We're going to turn our volume all the way up in our ears, boop, all the way up, and we're going to listen to our Bible story this morning. Adam and Eve had many children and grandchildren. Their grandchildren had children and grandchildren, and people began to fill the earth. God looked at all the people on earth and saw that they were choosing to sin more and more. Every person's thoughts were evil, and God was sad that he made people. 
God decided to send a flood to destroy all the creatures on the earth. But God showed favor to a man named Noah. Noah was a righteous man. He followed God. God warned Noah about the flood. He told Noah to make an ark to save himself, his family, and all kinds of animals. God told Noah exactly how to make the ark. And he said that he would make an agreement or covenant with Noah and his family. Noah did everything that God commanded. When the ark was finished, Noah went inside with his family and the animals and God shut the door. The rain started and water rose from the ground. Now the ark floated on top of the water. The water rose higher and higher until all of the mountains were covered. Everyone inside the ark was safe. Finally, after 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped and the water started to go down. Noah waited inside the ark until the ground was dry. Then God told Noah to bring all the people and animals out of the ark. So Noah did. Noah built an altar and gave an offering to the Lord. God promised to never completely flood the earth again. God told Noah and his family to spread out over the earth and fill it with people. God placed a rainbow in the sky as a special sign of the covenant that he made with Noah. Every time Noah and his family saw the rainbow, they would know God remembered his promise that he had made with all the living creatures on the earth. God rescued Noah and his family from the flood. The story of Noah points ahead to a greater rescue. God's son, Jesus, the only perfect righteous one, came to take the punishment for our sin. By trusting in him, we are saved from the punishment our sin deserves. Isn't that a great story, you guys? I love the story of Noah. God was going to flood the whole earth, but he saved Noah from death. He saved Noah and his family from death. They passed through the waters in the boat. And when we think about that story, it's also good to remember, or rather to look forward in the story to when Jesus is coming. Jesus saved us from death. Jesus saved us from our sin, except instead of a flood and rain, it was sin and death. And Jesus saved us from that because he took on our punishment and died in our place, but he did not stay dead. He rose again from the grave. Just like God saved Moses from the waters of death, Jesus saves us from our sin. Isn't that cool? The Bible all kind of connects with each other. It's very cool. Guys, I'm proud of you guys that you believe and trust in Jesus. I pray that you guys know that and remember how much he loves you and that he will never stop loving you. And I love you guys too so much. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys very soon. Love y'all.